SGC here, and we're back for a first impression. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Maisel? Maisel? I can't pronounce, but it's an American period comedy drama created by Amy Sherman Palladino, the creator of Gilmore Girls and Bunhead. This stars Rachel Bronsnahan. Bronsnahan. This stars Rachel Bronsnahan, Michael Zegan, Alex Bornstein, Tony Shahoub, and Merrill and Marin Hinkle. Everyone else check down below. So this premiered as part of the Amazon Studios spring pilot season back in March of last year and it was picked up by Amazon for a two season order right in April. The, the full season was the full season was released on November of last year and it has won two Golden Globes for best TV musical comedy and best actress. So good on them. Also, this series includes fictional depictions of several prominent comedians such as Lenny Bruce and Bob Newhart. And also draws inspiration from trailblazing female comedians such as Joan Rivers and Toadie Fields. So basically, what is this about? Well, it's 1958. We have a Jewish housewife living in New York City, Miriam Midge Maisel, played by Rachel Bronsnahan. And uh, basically, long story short, she gets into a marriage and things don't work out and she finds herself on a stand-up stage and basically that's the first episode the gaslight cafe and it's just a comedian act of her figuring life out and how does she respond to the whole marriage thing granted it's an eight episode thing so there's might be tons of other stuff but basically i feel like the rest of the season is going to be about how she finds her place and just does a lot of acts and does great and maybe her husband will come back. But who knows. So as the first episode, first off, you know me, I love period pieces. Just I love how much time goes into their wardrobe, their set design, and the accents or the way that they carry themselves and speak. I always love it. So this drew my attention. I swear if this was sort of a contemporary thing, not as much. Granted, this is a fantasy sort of narrative in a sense where the character of Midge isn't your typical 1950s woman. She's much more confident and outspoken, which is great. I mean, granted, I was watching the Oscar, <clears throat> granted, I was watching their Globes interview with their win. They're saying that despite the time period, the creator wanted like the audiences to see that this is a current day woman and not just something that would exist, not just someone that would have existed back in 1950s. So, so the creator was saying how she wanted girls watching this series to be like, no, I, I totally, this is, this is me. I can totally, pro totally project myself. So that was, that was cool. I really enjoyed the confidence stuff and how she just, because of her confidence, she's so different from everybody else around her so it's that whole awkward in a good sense not like a house you're a pain in the ass to talk to but rather you're so eccentric it's strange so i loved her performance how she carried herself just all the like the narrative and the pacing of the first episode was just great really enjoyed it so much jam packed into it and you can really feel sort of just the energy and the vibe from her neighborhood her surroundings and just the wedding itself. I do wonder if the supporting cast will be bigger by next episode. Probably. I don't know, actually. I don't even know where it's going to go. So I haven't read up about the actual plot. But I do look forward to just seeing her perform. Granted, I'm actually surprised that she's Rachel from House of Cards Season 1 and 2. She's the prostitute that Stamper was trying to deal with. So it's just kind of cool to see her being in that role. And then looking through her work having episodes here and there and she was also on Manhattan and now she's like a lead actress so great stuff really awesome just to see how people worked and they got there same thing for Smith if you Smilf if you have seen it uh Frankie Shaw plays a pretty much hardly ever on the screen character of Mr. Robot and now she's headlining one of her own shows she created and produced it. that's just crazy so props on the whole the creation i mean i read jenna fisher's sort of how to act book and it's just to see no know, knowingly how like what the what the stuff that you to go for additions and callbacks and all that stuff just it's just great to see people rising up in the ranks and doing their thing and doing a good job on it so anyways i really enjoyed her performance i think her performance is great also, Alex Bornstein is Susie Meyerson. She's like the employee of the Glasslight Cafe. Really loved her attitude, just very different. I love how 
these characters play off each other. And yeah, I know that she's going to be a manager, saw a trailer type of thing. So definitely looking forward to just to see more of the characters. I'm really enjoying this world and just how they're antique and antiques, antics and just the atmosphere and all that stuff. Love it. Can't wait to just see more of the sets and just the clothes and all that time period stuff. Awesome stuff. Anyway, what else can I say? Go watch it. She won a globe. The show won a globe. That should be more than enough for you to at least check out the first episode and yeah um just great that i watched it and she won just good stuff really really great congrats for all your work team anyway that's it for this first impression for the marvelous mrs Maisel. Maisel Maisel out